This question is describing a multiplicative story because the number of unemployed construction workers is the product of the unemployment rate among construction workers multiplied by the total number of construction workers. Now, if you didn't know that, think about the definition of an unemployment rate. The word rate already implies that we're talking about a ratio, so you're going to have a numerator and a denominator. So what would be the numerator and the denominator? Think about it. What is an unemployment rate? It's the number of unemployed out of the total population of people eligible to be employed. So now that we've established the multiplicative relationship among the three elements here, we can set up a ratio of 1996 to 1992 and go through the three elements one by one. So for the first ratio, for unemployment rate, it looks like we have 9 over 16. For the second one, we have 120 over 100 because it went up by 20%. So I'm using 100 as the starting point going up to 120. And now before we multiply the two fractions to get the ratio for the actual number of unemployed construction workers, let's reduce any common factors that we can find. So we end up with 9 eighths times 3 fifths, and that gives us 27 over 40. So what that means is, if the starting number of unemployed construction workers was 40, now we have 27. That means that the number got reduced, so we could eliminate answer choices D and E, and looking at the remaining answer choices, we can kind of approximate here and say, was it reduced by half? No, that would have been 20 over 40, so eliminate A. Was it reduced by 15%? No, because 15% of 40 is 6, and that would have been true if we ended up with 34 over 40. So C isn't right either, and we're left with only one answer choice, answer choice B. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.